if you want to join the friends, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Uh, so we have the patch notes here for the 31st of July. Uh, there's not a whole lot of stuff, so this is going to be a really quick one. Uh, the urns have been updated so that they actually do what they're supposed to do. Uh, Dungeoneering shield bows, nobody uses them anyhow. Uh, going to switch right over to the ninja fixes. They do have a couple of nice fixes here. Uh, they added a Dungeoneering Quick Home Teleport. Uh, it does cost 50,000 Dungeoneering Tokens. I don't know if it's worth that much, but it's nice to have a Quick Teleport for Dungeoneering uh, for the Home Teleport because it was so slow compared to all the other Teleports. Uh, a Mass Cap Teleport spell has been added. Uh, it's, again, a little nice addition. Uh, you do have to buy it from Mass Cap. I'm assuming it's overpriced, but uh, there's no easy way to get to Mass Cap, so that's probably something I would be looking into purchasing once I do a couple of raids or if I really get into raiding. Uh, starting and ending cutscene of the Bork has been uh, just gone so it makes Bork a little bit faster to do. Might be worth doing Bork now. Uh, I personally don't need the summoning charm so I'm never going to be doing Bork anyhow. Uh, little quality of life to the werewolf agility course. Uh, just larger click areas. No, not many people use the Werewolf Agility course, but I, I've used it before. It's pretty nice course. It was pretty small click areas. I think the stick just barely was able to be clicked. Uh, prawn balls can be now made into batches of 60. Uh, I actually have RuneScape open to show you guys really quick. Uh, it is a pretty quick 60, but it still does take 35 seconds, so... Uh, it is slower than it used to be, but you wouldn't have to be, like, spam clicking on them to get them, uh, finished out. You actually can't spam click on them anymore. Anyhow, uh, that's something new I just learned. Uh, so, slight nerf to prom balls, I guess, but it makes so you don't have to constantly be clicking. Uh, see, the sap and leech curses now give animated feedback. That's nice. Uh, this is a big one. Uh, safe spot has been added to the entrance to the Dagonoth Kings. Uh, that was the most annoying thing in the world that you couldn't just uh, couldn't make an instance or anything for Dagonoth Kings because people or creatures were constantly killing you. There was no way that you could have any like half a second to just rest and uh, and to actually get into the Dagonoth Kings in an instance unless if you just had it already set up and you had to hit the enter button. And even then, it was still hard. Uh, use glass custom in rage for Telos is nice. Uh, this is something that I wish they had done before my video earlier today. Uh, players can now choose how many mystery boxes to create when converting event currency. Uh, that It was a little bit inconvenient. It takes like two or three minutes to actually buy all the event boxes before this. So it saves you two or three minutes. Low quality of life. That's what ninja fixes are supposed to be. Uh, teleports are more consistent and dual arenas are more consistent. Those are the main ones. Uh, honestly, the ninja fixes are the main part of this, uh, but they just added a little bit of consistency to everything and made it a little bit more convenient to teleport around. Uh, this is the big one that people are probably going to rage about. Uh, people that already have uh, the summoning stone drop, uh, in case you didn't already know, I think that's for the Vitalis pet if I'm not incorrect. Uh, they added a threshold to it, which they should have had in the first place, but it was created before thresholds were a thing and a lot of the boss pets were a thing. It was one of the first boss pets. Uh, so that's why I didn't have a threshold and I'm really surprised they put a poll up and somehow that passed. Uh, they didn't actually poll everybody. They only pulled people with, I think it was 10 or more boss pets already and people that already had this boss pet. Uh, I guess there are a lot more people that only that have 10 plus boss pets. Uh, probably a lot of people that have been farming for this forever and haven't gotten it yet. Which is probably why this passed. But I'm surprised that all the people that already have this pet just didn't downright veto it. Because it's making their drop a little bit less rare. And it was a pretty rare and fun drop to have. Uh, especially if you got it at a pretty low kill count. Uh, Hard Mode's Virago, they updated that so that you can actually see the time that, or see the kill times. And I'm not sure how relevant that really is, but that shouldn't have ever been a problem. I'm guessing it was a glitch. Uh, disconnecting when going to boss instances are bad. Uh, something to do with inactive room pouch. I don't know what that was. 
Uh, you can now actually die things that you're supposed to be allowed to die. Uh, and they show correct value in the wealth evaluator. Uh, they just updated it so you can die a couple of things, so it's probably just a bug with that. Uh, and this is the big thing. Emptying an Ushat body, I don't know how to pronounce it, the soul catching thing. Uh, when carrying multiple, now correctly empties the one selected rather than the first soul collector thing in the player's backpack. Uh, why that wasn't a thing before, I don't know. Uh, especially if you released a soul that you were really trying to gather instead of the one that you uh, were wanting to release. Uh, I could see some people getting mad about that. Things that they had farmed up for 1,000, 2,000 kills and hadn't just barely got one. Then they go get an imp and they're like, oh, I don't really want an imp because they happen to kill an imp on the way there. They just release the imp. And then they don't actually release the imp. They release the thing that took them 1,000 kills. Yeah, I could see that being bad. Uh, so hopefully you guys will enjoy the quick update video let you guys all know what's going on in RuneScape. If you do, leave a like down below, leave a comment, and if you happen to not be subscribed to this channel or happen to see this anyhow, uh, leave a, or I would love it if you subscribe. You can see this, I'll do this whenever I see something of value in the patch notes as well as a lot of other videos that I have coming out. As always, have a good one.